Hey guys, welcome to my garden. Hey guys, I'm gonna show y'all how to plant a simple succulent pot here. Uh, I have my terracotta pot. I have a few succulents that I bought from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I went ahead and took off the dead leaves. They seem to not be able to water their succulents regularly, so they were very parched and dying. So I went ahead and cleaned them up a little bit. So first things first, take your pot, peel off the sticker, or you don't have to. I tend to fill my pot halfway because I know I'm going to keep some of the dirt on these plants. Pack it in. It's a little over half, but it's okay. First, I'm gonna take this one, pop it out of its pot. I like to clean off the top, just take this off. Usually has dead leaves, didn't get that one. Then I like to break up the roots like this. Get as much soil off as possible without damaging any roots. Shake it a little bit. I think we're good to go. I kind of want this one to set off. Not straight up. I don't want that. I want it to kind of slide out of the pot. Maybe put a little bit back in to prop it up. Doesn't that look good? I think I want to do this one next. So if you see, I'm kind of obsessed a little bit with these three. I noticed that they kind of create this ball at the top and I really love that and I thought that this would be a perfect pot to put these two, maybe three plants in. Not sure, but we'll see when we are potting. This one I really liked because it's super wavy, the leaves. So I'm gonna pop him out. Take off the top layer. See, you can see these dead leaves. Get those out. And it's okay if they fall off. It doesn't mean the plant is dying. It just means it's ready to rid those leaves. Break up those roots. I want this one to also fall out of the pot. I'm gonna put a little room in between them. Maybe add a cutting of something in between. We'll see. Let's add in a little bit more soil. Pack it down. Make sure these are sturdy in there. After thinking and looking at this pot, this one almost seems a little too big for it. I feel like it needs to go in its own pot or obviously a larger pot than this. So let me just set this one to the side, pop that one out, see these beautiful heads of these plants. Knock off the soil, make it a mess, it's fine. Pull, oh thought this one was a bad leaf because it was more yellow, but it's pretty sturdy, so I don't want to knock him off. Shake that up a little bit. So I'm going to put this one pretty close to this guy. Put him in there. And it's okay to use the soil that comes with your potted succulents. There's nothing wrong with it. Put that nice and snug. Pop this one out. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, that one's too big. Let's 
knock off some of these leaves. Break up the roots a little bit, give them some air, shake it off. Now we're ready. Get a little place for it. I'll put him super close. And you see how this dirt is getting on the leaves? That's fine, we'll clean that off later. Actually, I don't like this. I don't really like this at all. So let's pull him out. I'm gonna stick him in the middle. This is art, so it's okay if you make a few mistakes. Let's see, what does this look like? Get those rosettes in there. See, I need to build him up a little bit, so. Put some more soil. Get him sturdy. Laura Eubanks says, if you get your succulent to stand up, you've done your job. And that's what I'm hoping to do. It's standing, we're good. Perfect. All right. I want this cluster to be these little Lolas. So I'm gonna pop this one out and try, I don't have much room. I don't have much room at all. So I'm gonna take off as much soil as I can. Clean this one off. None of these are dying leaves, even though that they, sh oh, just kidding, this one is. Oh, and this one too. And this one. All right. So this one actually doesn't have many roots. Perfect. This might be a no-no because I don't have much room, but I am going to take those roots off. That way I just have a little bit. And because I did that, this succulent is not going to grow as fast now, which is fine. I don't really want this pot to take off. I kind of want it to keep its shape. Let me just Throw that in there. Those, these succulents are tight. Throw some more, throw some more soil. Make sure your soil's compact. Don't really like the loose soil. Remember, I kept a little space between these two to add a cutting of something. I always have cutting, so I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, what to put here? This could be a place for cuttings too, maybe a little spillage or something that will come over the edge. Let me go look in my garden and see if I can find something that'll go here. I went into my garden and I got some cuttings. Here's one, a few of these. And then I got a lot of burrow's tail. I have a lot of that in some pots. So I got some, some cuttings that were really stemmy that didn't look too well. So I am going to trim those up and put them in these, this pot. And I got a few of these. I know they're not succulents, but I find them to be super pretty and I think they would go well in this pot. So let me stick them. I'm gonna put a few right here. Stick them back there. Looks like only one will fit there, which is fine. Loosen up this soil. I'm gonna add this one right there. Looks pretty good. 
these need to be trimmed up a tad. And this one definitely needs to be trimmed. Actually, I'm going to take off some of these leaves. These can be used in propagation. Just set them in a dry soil and a little leaflet will start to grow from the end. Tuck that in here. The soil is so tight. There we go. Now I'm going to add these. back here. They're touching the soil. They will root pretty quickly. Stick them back there. And I have these three. Let's see if I can put them anywhere in this pot. I'm actually going to trim this one up a little bit more. I'm going to add him back there. And I'm going to add this one right here. And there you have it guys. Because these cuttings are fresh, I am not gonna water this pot for a couple weeks just to let those wounds harden off. And then I will give this pot a drink of water and they will be thriving. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you at the next video.